Hi guys, Rick Sosby here. This is the You Asked, We Answered video series where we answer common questions about ATVs and UTVs. So let's get started. This video's topic is how do ATV batteries charge? The charging system on modern ATVs is made up of essentially three parts. You have a rotor, you have a stator, and you have a regulator rectifier that controls the power that is made with the other two components. The stator is made up of multiple individual laminated bars. These bars are actually wrapped with a thin copper wire which makes each individual pole a coil. Factory design and machine requirements will dictate just how many of these poles or coils are on your stator. The rotor is a small wheel-like design that is mounted to the crankshaft of the engine. The rotor will actually spin either on the inside or the outside of your stator. As the rotor spins past the coils, the magnets in the rotor will actually induce current in the coils of the stator. With each revolution, the current actually reverses itself, which creates the alternating current needed to power the machine. And this entire process is called electromagnetic induction. So with the combination of the rotor and stator creating so much power, there has to be something to control it. And this is left up to your regulator rectifier, which changes the current from alternating current to direct current because this is the only way that your ATV battery can actually store the power. The regulator in the regulator rectifier combination actually controls the stator's output of your ATV charging system. Most regulator rectifiers are built with fins on the outside casing. What this does is it dissipates the heat from the semiconductors inside the regulator rectifier, brings it out through what is essentially a heat sink, and then the air blowing by this device as you ride down the trail cools the regulator rectifier. One thing you want to make sure of when you store your ATV or UTV is that you provide the battery with some type of power source. Now this can be a trickle charger, which puts out a small amount of amperage while the vehicle is being stored and actually protects the battery's integrity so that the next time you get in the machine or get your ATV out for a nice ride, the battery is going to be ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Click to subscribe and check out the links at the end of this video for more answers to your common ATV questions.